Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need one. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 219. Please turn to it, page 219. At the bottom of the page there where it says arithmetic, arithmetic exercises. That's what we're going to start with it. Problem number one. These are very simple, very silly problems, but we have to do them because they are there. Because we, we made a, because we made a place that we're going to do every single math problem in the book, so we have to do these questions even though they are as I said, quite silly. Number one. 15 minus 6 minus 4 minus, uh, times negative 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. 2 times negative 2 is going to be negative 4. It's going to be negative 4. So we have 15 minus 2 times negative 2, that's 15 minus 4 times negative 2 is negative 4. And a negative and a negative is going to become positive, so we get 15 plus 4, which is 19. Part B. B says 2 minus 17 divided by 5. 2 minus 17 is going to be negative 15. Negative 15 divided by 5 is same as negative 15 over 5, which is of course same as 15 over negative 5, which of course is same as negative 15 over 5. It doesn't matter where you put the negative sign. If you put it at the bottom, then the top is becomes positive. If you put it on the top, it becomes bottom becomes negative. It doesn't matter. Negative divided by positive is negative, and negative and positive divided by negative is negative. That's what this is. So 15 over 5 is 3, so the answer is negative 3. Let's move on then. Part C. 60 divided by 12, we are told, minus negative 7 plus a 4. 60 divided by 12 is 5, minus negative 7 and a positive 4 is going to give us negative 3. And a negative 3 and outside is negative, so it becomes 5 plus 3, which is 8. Let's move on then. So that was part C. Let's move on to part D. I'm going to erase everything now. Part D is the next one. Because the way they do these questions in the, in, in the book, uh, they make it very tedious, very silly, and they want you to grab the calculator every single second. Don't do that. Calculator is a tool. Don't depend on it too much. Don't, don't turn it into crutches. It's only to be used when it's absolutely necessary. Most of this problem can be done very easily by hand and you will save time and you are more likely to catch a mistake uh, if you do it by hand. You understand? Part D. 3 raised to 4 minus a negative 2 raised to 3. 3 raised to 4 of course is same as it's same as 3 squared times 3 squared, which is 9 times 9, which is 81. And this one is negative 2 raised to 3, is negative 2 times a negative 2, which is positive 4, times a negative 2 is a negative 8. So if we have a negative and a negative 8, it becomes 81 plus 8, becomes 89. Let's look at E. E is negative 5 times negative 3 minus the 15. The negative 5 and a negative 3 is going to give us positive 15. So it's positive 15 minus the 15 is going to give us big fat 0. Let's look at F. Let's do the F on the top. F says negative 2 raised to 4 times 15 minus 18 raised to 4. Negative 2 raised to 4 
is just negative 2 times negative 2 which is positive 4 and positive 4 times positive 4 is positive 16 and this is negative 3 raised to 4 and again negative negative 3 raised to 4 is same as negative 3 squared times negative 3 squared which is just 9 times 9 which is 81 so it's so it, it boils down to 16 times 81 16 times 81 you just have to do it out what 16 times 81 is 81 times 16 so that's 6 48 and then 81 as you can see it doesn't take that long to do it by hand don't do it in a calculator that was F let's look at G G says Twenty divided by five squared times negative two plus six. Twenty divided by five is four, so it's four squared times negative two and a positive six is going to be four raised to three. Four raised to three, which basically gives us four raised to five, or if you like, which is same as four raised four squared times four squared times four. 4 squared is 16 times 16 times 4 and you should know your square which is why I'm doing 16 times 16 because you should know your squares uh, all the squares 1 through 20 with the exception of maybe 17, 18 and 19 you don't have to worry too much about it but you should know your 16 square by heart 16 times 16 is 256 256 times 4 which is same as which is same as 250 times 4 plus 4 times 4 so it's 1000 plus 16 or 1016 so that was part G the very last one H negative 85 times 0 minus a negative 17 times positive 3 negative 85 times 0 0 times anything is 0 so 0 times any number is 0 so this is just 0 minus 17 times 3 17 times 3 is going to be 10 times 3 is 30 so it's 30 and then 7 times 3 is going to be 21 it's 51 So it's just positive 51. The answer is positive 51. 17 times 3, what I was trying to figure out is this part here. If you have to do if you have if you have to do 17 times 3, I don't know what 17 times 3 is, but I know that 10 times 3 is 30 and 7 times 3 is 21, which is what I was doing there. So 30 plus 21 is 51. That's it. We are done with these exercises. Let's see what we have next one. Should I start the next one right now or should I just wait until... No. Just give me one second, okay? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the next one in the next video. I will see you tomorrow or we will do the next problem, okay? Bye now.